once we click or press our button, it does exactly like what we put in the function. In this video, I will be showing you how to create an on click button. Basically, what this means is that once you press the button, it will perform an action. Basically, an action you would want it to do. But in this video, we'll just make it show text. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is head over to activity main, which is right over here. And we're just going to do something simple. We're just going to take a button from this palette right here, which is under common. And we're just going to drag the button right here. Remember, you're in a constraint layout, so don't forget to put some constraints. So I'm just going to set my constraints down here. And you can set your constraints every, anywhere you want. It doesn't exactly have to be how I'm doing it in the video. But just make sure that you have to put constraints or Android Studio will say that there is an error. And we're just going to leave the text view that's right here. Now we're going to head over to split so we can adjust the code as well. I'm just going to give text view an ID because when we press the button, we want text view to change text. So we're just going to type ID and then a pop-up screen should come up and we're just going to name it text view. That's all. And then we're just going to leave the button ID as button. For the button to do an on click, you do need an ID so Android Studio knows which button and what you're talking about. So now let's head over back to mainactivity.java, which is right here. And we're just going to initialize everything that we did in the activity.main file. So we're going to put text view. Because remember, we're creating an instance of this. So we're going to call it text view. And then now we're going to call button. Oh, I'm sorry. What I meant to say is instead of an instance, we're basically making like a class. Like, so these are classes and now we're just getting the instances of those classes. Now we're just going to initialize them inside of the protected void on create. And we're going to set them to our IDs. So for example, text view equals find view by ID R dot ID dot text view. It can be whatever ID that you gave to this particular function. We're going to put button equals find view by ID R dot ID dot button because that's the ID that we gave in activity main. I'll show you once again right here. The ID is button. And text view the ID for text view is text view but let's make this a little bit bigger so it can show I'll just make it this big and I'll change the text size to about 25 XP and to do that you just put text pop-up should come up and I'll just put 25 SP this should be perfect now let's go back to main activity Java and now it's time to create the on click button so what you're going to do is type your button and then type the dot operator or period. And then you should see a list of pop up events, but we're going to select set on click listener. And inside the parentheses, we're going to put new and then we're going to type view capital. And then there's going to be another pop up and we click the one with the green eye right here. Press enter. Now here is the basically the functionality for it. So once we press the button, it will do whatever we put inside this function. So now let's just set the text to something. Let's put text view dot set text to we press the button. Let me make my W capitalized. We press the button. And basically, this is all that we need. See, so to create the on click listener button, you do button dot set on click listener. Now it's time to open this app in the emulator so we can test it out. Now we have the emulator open. As you can see, once we click or press our button, 
It does exactly like what we put in the function. It sets the text to we press the button. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend that you check the other tutorials that are on my channel. Congratulations, you did it. Mass programmer out.